Hey folks, it's Mark Dispersed Camperman, and I am currently on uh, Lake Washita, uh doing some uh, tent camping on my pontoon boat. And I found this uh, nice little island here to do some uh, dispersed camping on it. Yeah, Lake Washita has over uh, 200 islands you can choose from. We have no problem finding an island if you want to do some uh, tent camping on one of them. Found this nice little spot. And as you can probably tell, the water is way up. <clears throat> There's not too many uh, beaches on these islands right now because of the water being so high. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed this one. Look at that lake. This water is pretty clear. And it's surprising this water is this clear with all the rain we've had. Yeah, I did get here uh, yesterday around noon. I uh, got around, uh, found this island, <clears throat> set up my uh, tent on my pontoon boat. Uh, with this time of the year, I think it, yes, uh, first week of June, I'm here. The uh, weather's still kind of cool at night, so I didn't really need nothing to keep me cool except for a little box fan I used. I uh, set up my generators. I run a 12-gauge uh, a extension cord up to my pontoon to run my little box fan at night, circulate some air, and uh, to charge some uh, batteries overnight. Yeah, it's a pretty cool, uneventful night. I also uh, put up some uh, rope lights to help me see on the boat at night. Those worked out pretty good. I really like those. Didn't need to really need to use, use a flashlight. Just hook the uh, rope lights up and it was good to go. It's pretty cool looking at night too. Yeah, folks, this is a pretty cool little uh, camp spot right here. And as usual, I'm going to go ahead and leave the uh, great corners of this spot in the video description. And also, uh, Lake Washoe, like I said earlier, does have over 200 islands that you can camp off of if you want to. And also, like I said, the water right now is pretty high. and Most of the beaches are underwater. But other than that, it's a pretty good uh, spot to do some uh, dispersed camping on. Yeah, the main reason why I come up here my pontoon boat was do some uh, scuba diving. What I was wanting to do is uh, there's an underwater memorial for uh, Adam Brown. He's a Navy SEAL guy who uh, grew up in Hot Springs. And from what I'm hearing, his memorial underwater is the only one in the United States. So what I did is went down there and uh, geared up my dive equipment. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how to find it. And it's a pretty cool little memorial underwater. It's only about 24 feet underwater. But yeah, it's a pretty cool little uh, dive right there. And if you're interested in uh, finding that spot yourself, I will leave the great coordinates uh, in the video description also. Hey guys, I appreciate you guys for watching. If you please hit that like button, subscribe button, and uh, leave a comment if you like. Hey guys, hope you enjoyed the rest of the video. Thanks for watching.
Yeah, folks, they use the, uh, they painted a red rock and put the number 24 on there since uh, 24 was uh, Adams Brown's favorite number. Also, it was his uh, jersey number when he went to high school in Hot Springs. So when you see this uh, 24 in the bank, it goes straight down the water to about 24 feet. That's where you'll find his memorial.